She doesn't let me on the internet unless she's watching. Right, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. What's poppin' YouTube world? Lukezilla here. Hope y'all been doing well. I know I have. Here I am back on iCraft SMP Season 2. Alright guys, so this episode I'm starting here in our nether town to show you off something. Alright, so the last episode I made my little uh, portal house thing in the nether. But I changed it up a little bit off camera just to make it look better. I looked at it afterwards and was like, man, this is just kind of flat and boring. So I added a little bit more to it. This is how it turned out. And holy poop, does it even look like the same thing anymore? No, this looks like ten times better. So, one thing that I felt like it was missing was a little bit of gray. Now that sounds really weird because it's like, why would you want to add in gray? Gray is so dull and boring. But like, I'm looking around, I see... Will's house over here has a lot of gray. This has a lot of gray. So I was like, well, if I want this to fit in, I got to add some gray. So I added some gray. I changed uh, these things here as well as uh, the floor. Uh, other than that, I made the like sides and the front and everything on it more dimensional. I made the roof peak up a little bit. And I did this and that, just some things here and there. And it looks a lot better. So guys... I'm glad I decided to make those changes, but now for this episode, we're going to be doing a project that I said I was going to be working on, but I haven't worked on it, even though I said I was going to like a million years ago, still haven't done it. What I'm talking about is a little uh, redstone project, as you can see from my inventory, I have a bunch of redstone stuff on me. Holy cow, Lukezilla, you and your redstone lately, yeah, I know, I've been on a roll. <laughs> so, if we... What's the best way to get down here? Screw it. I'll hop off the uh, the uh, suicide ledge, I guess. That's what I'll call it. Anyway, so this is a project that I've had in mind for uh, quite some time now. Still haven't gotten around to doing it. We're going to head into the Doom Room to do this. So I'm going to make like a little secret redstone door thing right here. Okay, so if this is going to work out the way I want it to... I'm going to need, well, for one, some lights so that you guys can see what the heck I'm doing so that I can see what the heck I'm doing so that uh, my mom can see what I'm doing because she doesn't let me on the internet unless she's watching. Right, mom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just being a goofball right now. Anyway, actually, I'm going to need to move that. Right here is where the button's going to be. Let's make a stone button because the stone button's going to be hidden. Well, it, it's going to be really hard to see, especially whenever it's dark. You will not really be able to see the button. So the button's going to be right there. Uh, I might need to break out like these blocks here just for like an access point to the back. But eventually, this will be covered up so you won't even know anything's there. Right now I'm going to leave it open so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Behind the button, I need a torch. Alright. Below the torch, I'm going to need some dust. Yes. Alright, so this is where the door is going to be. So there's going to need to be some pistons right here. Oh, there's Lens. Hello. Oh, man, I think they're going to record because Dano's online, too. Uh, anyway. There's going to be pistons right there. There's going to be blocks on the pistons. And whenever they're extended, they'll be in this space right here. But right now, they're not extended. So let's kind of... Oh. Broke a block that I didn't want to break. You can go there. Well, not a block, but you know what I mean. Shut up, guys. Quit making fun of me. Alright, so right there is where those things are. I don't exactly know how much space I need. And... Uh, let, let me try to uh, troubleshoot some things and find out just what I need to do. Alright, so I figured something out. I guarantee this is not going to be the most effective way to do this, but... I'm going to use redstone blocks and I'm going to make this button retract uh, these pistons. Like these pistons are going to be extended by default. I'm going to use this button to retract those pistons, pull back these redstone blocks, and then it'll open that up. Then whenever the button uh, unpowers, then this will close back up behind me. All right. That's how I want to do this. Well, I guess this is how I 
uh, figured out how to do this. You guys know I'm not pro at redstone by any means. But, you know, I'm still trying. That's all that matters. Not, not really. But. So I think I can power this by... Uh, I think I need some repeaters, because the reason I need repeaters is because I need to kind of lengthen it a little bit. So I believe I can put one maybe like here, and how do I do this? Alright, so I know I'm going to need like that. And then this can come up like that. Oh, well that... Oh, crap. I did something wrong. Um, push this back. This will go right there. And wait, I need a block. I think. Right there. I'm doing something wrong. And then this can come up like that. Okay, now both of them are powered. Is that, is that how that works? Wait, I don't even need a piece of redstone right there. Okay, whatever. Fill that back in. This powers both of them for some reason. Alright. And then I can place another repeater right here to lengthen it even more. Let's uh put those on full delay. So, let's see. If I click that, it opens it, it closes it. Sweet! Let's try it again. Opens it, closes it. Let's try to like kill myself. Opens it. I'm stuck! Oh, okay. <laughs> so that is that guys but now not only that but I need to make a way to do it from the inside as well now inside of here like this is obviously going to lead to something and what it's going to lead to is going to be like a spiral staircase that leads up to like the the main part of my base so I got like some coordinates marked down where I need things to be I can't remember where the staircase starts. I think it's right here, but let me double check real quick. It's got the piston, then a solid block, and then right here is going to be a half slab. So this is like the first little step up. And then the button is right here on the wall. So this button is going to need to power some stuff. Hold on, let's, uh, let's break my way in. Alright, so this button right here can power some stuff. I think... Let's see, so... I know that the uh, the lighting for the spiral staircase, it's gonna be like a repeating pattern. It's gonna be like a glow, uh, redstone lamp, then a block of redstone, a redstone lamp. So I kinda had to work around that too. But basically, uh, what that means is that this area right here will be uh, covered by blocks so I don't have to really worry about uh, redstone showing because I think I pull the signal out of this side there's gonna be some dust there this can power that block this block will take power out like that it's gonna be unpowered because this block is powered and then let's see I think I need to send the signal underneath here this block is gonna keep prevent it from connecting here and then I need some space above me I need some headroom all right I'm gonna pull the power out this side but I'm gonna use a repeater to do so that way it doesn't uh, connect up here then I'm just kind of gonna bring it along this way so what I'm gonna do with this strand the way this is gonna work I'm going to um, have a sticky piston right here with a block attached to it that I'm going to power that piston with this redstone trail so that uh, whenever this piston gets powered it's going to push this block and then it's going to block the signal so if I get this redstone I think this should be just as easy as that all right, let's uh let's test this by pressing the button. So if I press that, yeah, it retracts it, puts it back. Okay, let's see if that gives me enough time to uh, run on through. And like I said, this this is gonna be covered up. Let me uh 
So I'll throw some lights in here. That way uh, baddies don't spawn and blow up all my beautiful redstones that I worked so hard on doing. <laughs> Alright, so let's act like that's... Ooh, man, it's super dark. Uh, put that right there. Alright, let's act like this is where the staircase is. Yada, yada, yada. Press the button to get out. You're, you're free. You can get out. It works. Oh, there's a little bit of a glitchiness there, but... You can get in. You can get out. Sweet! Guys, I'm a freaking redstone pro. Look at this. This is some uh, dirty, di dirty, dirty redstone. But it's alright. I mean... One thing about me is that I really hate looking at tutorials. But sometimes I need to. But for this project, I didn't. Like, whenever I made the fish farm, I needed a tutorial for that. But making this, I didn't need one. And that makes me happy. Oh man, that looks great from down here. I just kind of wanted to look at my base from different places. Oh, no. Little Enderman took a block from there. Alright. Anyway. So, for the next part of this episode, I'm going to be working on this little... Uh, entrance thing going upwards. Like I said, it's going to be like a spiral staircase leaning up. So, let me go ahead and start working on this, and I will cut back with you guys. Oh yeah, guys. So, I forgot to mention, in between the last video in this video, I went on a little uh, nether expedition to collect some more quartz and uh, check this out. Bam, look at all this freaking quartz that I got. So instead of taking my silk touch in there, I took my fortune pick and just fortuned it on the spot. Came back with a full inventory full of quartz. It's pretty nice. <laughs> I really like it. And then we still have uh, this here uh, for whenever we need to fortune it. Etc. Etc. Now, actually, let me let me grab some more in case we need it. We probably will. I mean, we use it quite a bit. All right, that should that should be good. Four stacks. Okay. All right. So what I did was see that I took this. I went all the way to the ground. Well, not to the ground, but to uh, where our little redstone door is, where the doom room is. I have this little stack of uh, lighting here. And then, yeah, so I opened this up just for convenience purposes, as we can see. Ta-da! Ta-da! It pushed me. Alright, so I said, right here is going to be the first step up, and it's going to have to spiral... Oh, oh, I, I need some headspace. Okay, <laughs> much, much better. Alright, so I'm going to have to make the spiral staircase going this way, and kind of just hope that it, uh stays out of the way of this redstone and it looks like wow this is <laughs> this is kind of perfect it like just barely dodges that redstone look at that oh man i couldn't have done that any more perfect if i tried all right so i'm gonna probably want to find some kind of block to uh decorate the walls as well um maybe like a mix of quartz and red sand or something because that's kind of my building theme but as for now, let's just kind of get this stairway in place and see just how it turns out, just where it ends up at. Cut us, we managed to bring this up to the surface. Now, I don't exactly know what to do with this. I think I'm going to build like an actual like house house, like a place to call home, a little uh, home for in town. Like, I mean, I know I have a tower. I know I have another tower. I know I'm going to have a staircase and another portal thing. And blah, 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 this and that, the Doom Room and stuff. But other than that, I don't, like, there is no part of my base that is actually like a house for me. It's all like things built up, but not really a house. But what I want to do is take this, this little area right here and turn it into like my actual house. Like this portal's not going to be here, so I can kind of build into this mountain a little bit. But... Yeah, I don't really have a house thing. So I don't know if I'm going to bring this up and put it into like a house. Make this like a little staircase going down or something. Or I don't know if like I'm just going to make like a little separate building for this. Yeah, but right now I just don't know what I want to do. So maybe I should just kind of skip that step for now. And just kind of try to decorate the sides of this. I don't know. But um... I wish I could do something about that right there. 
but it's it's a slab so I can't like put another half a block in but what I can do is hold that back up and then run on through it so I like running through it awesome rock on oh why did I just throw my pick I could take out like that block and that block can I take out that block yeah and that block Maybe I can, uh, put like a little, oh, put like a little ring of quartz or something. No, I don't like that. Um, Zoinks, I need to find out what the heck I'm doing with this darn room. All right, guys, so first things first, I just wanted to say I, uh, changed up the way this cave thing, the, the doom room. It, uh, I changed the way it kind of like shaped into the door that way I could like have a block right here and not make it look out of place So I think I uh, made that work re work well So press the button go on in and bam this is the design that I came up for this I'm using uh, quartz pillars on these ones and then Red sand with a uh, red chiseled sandstone which look like a little uh, wither and I'm, I'm using those for the corners the only thing I don't like is that, like, there's exposed stone right here, but kind of has to be there, because that's the the stone that, you know, blends in with this room. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it doesn't look... I don't know. It's not terrible. Obviously, it's there for a reason. Maybe if I change that back to stone, it will fit in more. Uh, it's an option. Maybe I could just put, like, a slab right there. Uh, or I can just kind of ignore it. Then I made this out of uh, where the button is. I just made here. Actually, I have a better idea of how to do this. I know, I know, I know. Don't, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Put that there. Uh, I'm gonna need to break these out. Uh, let's see. So get like a random block. Like a stone, for instance. Put that there. Make a thing facing this way. Put that back there. Alright, fix the door. Um, put that back. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, where's my regular quartz? Right here. Bam. Alright. And then put the button back. Ta-da. So, now that works like that. Alright, sweet. That works well. I'm just gonna leave this as like the three blocks of uh, whatever. Three blocks of exposed stone. I changed this up. This isn't like a actual place where a column would be. So I kind of had to improvise here. But um, anyway, so yeah, you go up this staircase and you have this nice little design going on. I really like it. It it's a uh, it's kind of repetitive, but I feel like. A repetitive design is pretty much the only kind of design you can do with a, a little build like this. Just because it's like, you know, it's small, it's narrow, there's not a lot you can do with it. You can't do any kind of dimension. So, uh, that's pretty much my best bet. So now I'm going to continue this going all the way upwards. Okay guys, so now I brought it all the way up to the surface. And now I really don't know what to do with it. Like... Ooh, I could make another tower thing for it, or I can make it part of the house that I want to build, even though I have no clue what kind of house I'm going to build. Maybe I could make it its own tower and make the tower part of the house? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I really don't know what I want to do. For now, I'm just kind of going to leave it like this. Oh, ouch. For now, I'm just going to leave it like this. It looks pretty freaking neat. I really like running through here. At first, I was like, wow, I feel like I'm running through a Christmas present. Now, I, I just kind of like it. I, I really like it. So, guys, if you have ideas for what I can do with like the above ground part of this, let me know. I'd be glad to uh, listen and take it into consideration. But... That is it for this project. In the next episode, I'll either be doing my nether portal thing or I'll be doing my little entrance thing. I think it's going to be the entrance. The entrance that comes up right here. 
Actually, what's cool about the entrance, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, is the entrance is going to go into this mountain, and it's actually going to go through here as well. So, that should be neat. I'm looking forward to seeing how exactly that, uh, that turns out. Hopefully it turns out well. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. But, as for now... I'm going to end off this episode. Guys, you've been a great audience. I loved you being here with me. It's freaking great. You guys rock my socks, I swear. If you like this video, be sure to like it. If you're not subscribed already, why aren't you subscribed already? You watched all the way to the end. You should be subscribed by now. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. Have a great one, and I will catch you next time. See you guys.